School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. Uh, I told no. you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a day. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Oh no. I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Oh shit. Drew. I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm good. Uh, Where is it? Uh, please, just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No uh, one steals from me. Uh, no one. Fuck. Hey, can you not step on things, Tippo? Give Damon the money. Stay with Mikey. <sighs> Fucking. Give Damon the money. Stop. It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. I mean. Hey, Mikey. The thought here is. Okay. I'm 175 in debt to Frank. Who he was trying to get money for this guy anyway, right? You? Uh, Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait, are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill? Tuned up? He needed it. Hell yeah. He, he was an asshole. He kept harassing me. You're gonna he have to hire me, son. To get the message. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need oh, that. Oh, last time. Uh, Ow. Uh, Shit. I didn't think all this it's all, all the way good. through. I Mike, stole the money. You I need to help your big brother. Help him understand that I take I stole the money seriously. from them Come that on. their family needs. Mike, Shit. got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. Shit. We now he's got a broken money. wrist. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. Shit. I'm trying to help. If Mikey's involved, it's my business. Yes, it is. Mikey's my friend. I don't want him to get hurt. No, because the lock said she said yes, and, and she did it. Hero? And then Stepping she did 12-12. Prescott? And now you're messing with our lives? Uh, Mikey. Uh, I gotta look at your arm. He broke Just his arm. Leave Shit. Us alone. I'm sorry. Look. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't get our dad off the streets. Uh, does it? Uh, we'll be okay. Thanks, Mikey. I like Mikey. Then I found the 1212. Oh, all right. <laughs> I, th I thought she's like, all right, got it. That's funny. It, t it took pity out on me. Try to booty scratchings. I just got Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I 
That's what I get for looking at chat. Whoa. Lots of fire still. For you, hippo. Hey, dude, he's practicing. Hayden. Is his name Hayden? I think it's Hayden. This day has been so messed up. Now flashing purples. At least I can talk to Rachel. Now. Our illustrious champion hey. returns. And the stream Welcome boss enters chat as well. How's it going? You're here with the five minutes. What's up, cookies? So you already take you for the cookies. Nom, nom, nom. You want one too, hippo head? Nom, 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 nom. Some for the hippo too. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Welcome, welcome. Quick doggo doggo. Yeah, your footy is hurt. Yeah, you need to stop chewing on your foot. Oh, goodness. All right. Props, Keaton. SG. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has to miss this. Why does Steph have to miss the, miss the play? Hey, dude. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Go fuck yourself. Ferdinand. Uh, Alright. Um, hey, hey, boy. Hey, Ferdinand. Just relaxing? Sup, nice. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great. He's, he's all uh, into it. Method acting. Really? Thanks. Mm. <laughs> Hanging out with Sarah. Boys Taking it easy. Times. Whoops. Thanks, but no thanks. Whoops. Samantha, hello. That's some shameless eavesdropping there, Samantha. Oh, she was the hey, Samantha. awkward chick. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. Now listen to Nathan's me. Nathan's dad looks like he's really laying into him. I wonder what it's about. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Say something. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love what to. does he look like to me? Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Who does he look like? He kind of looks like the new Colonel Sanders. Please don't tell me you like him. Fuck! I still hate him. Ugh, Samantha, please don't tell me you like Nathan. He's such a douche. 
Hey, I'm trying to interact. Samantha seems pretty torn up about what happened between Nathan and- Hey. Nathan's dad is... Some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. You should be careful. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. No, Actually, don't say that. Really Ugh. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. Yes, I got a text from Step. Statistic and surprise. I will be sensitive. checking it after this. A lot and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. No, it's because Nathan's it was the right thing to do, even help. though I hate his guts. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? Give him space. When I'm super angry, I need to let it all out. The last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. Case in point, how pissed he was when we tried to help him yesterday. If I were you, I'd give him space and wait for him to come to you. <sighs> that actually makes sense. Thanks, Chloe. Well, it's also protecting you because he's freaking psychopath. All right, what do we got here? Got a new page. Well, remember that easy job for Frank I told you about? Yeah, not quite. First, I jacked Samuel's keys to the dorm, but struggled to get past Skip. I actually bummed him out so bad he snapped at Wells. Felt shitty about it, but I had to get inside. Yeah, I'm sad that he quit. Took a brief detour into Elliot's room and read his poetry. Dude's got feelings. For me, I think. I'm flattered, I guess. Anyway, found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up, followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Have you ever met someone that you just know knew never to fuck with i hadn't until i met damon and i hadn't until today damon started beating the shit out of drew for the money he owed drew wanted me to stay with mikey but i couldn't take the sound of damon hurting him so i opened the door and gave the money to the asshole just so he'd leave drew alone unfortunately mikey tried to be the hero and got hurt it was all so 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 fucked and the most fucked up part that i had anything to do with it chloe the peacekeeper All right, that creepy man. Spend a few minutes with Damon Merrick, and you can tell that he's a peace-loving guy who, garden, who gardens in his spare time and loves unicorns and rainbows. Oh, and hunting down anyone who owes money. It's the simple pleasures. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about the guy. I know that he collects on his debts. His name is written all over the mill, and he might even scare Frank. I think they work together, but for, unlike Frank, he's got a bite to match his bark. Everyone at the mill, everyone at the mill that night seemed to know him, but every time I asked someone about him, they claimed right or they claimed right the hell up. And you have to be a special breed of fucked up to scare any kind of sense into the criminal element of Arcadia Bay. The one thing everyone else, everyone will tell me, the guy is bad news. Steph, tell me about your party. Chloe, it's Steph. I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey's arm is broken. Drew told me a little bit about what happened. Shit. I didn't know it was that bad. Cold is not broken. The situation is so fucked up. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Thanks, I will. Shit. Well, broken arm. Sorry, Mikey. Hey, there's our stuff. Bitter much? I don't, I don't get, get bitter. bitter. I get even. Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. <laughs> See? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh, recent life change. You'd think having a jock for a brother would protect you from getting hurt. Man, I hope Mikey's okay. Water polo. Sports just... Otters! So Look, that otter's ripped! Oh, it's exhausting. creepy. Look, After all the work Steph did, it's amazing. 
that she would drop everything to be That's here. why she's not here. He needs Dana. Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David did Doug dig David's She sounds garden? like she broke Oh, got a message from Rachel! Alright, well I'll have to wait for it, because they take forever to type it all out. Hey Keaton. Drama teachers always seem so <sighs> dramatic. Every time someone says hello to you, Birch, I think they say they're saying bitch. Stop, <laughs> Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? Mm, not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the whole point of love is to leave yourself open to... <laughs> whatever happens. <laughs> I like how the teacher doesn't care that I'm here. That is an art many of us attempt and precious few master. Budding dramaturge. May your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Those are a lot of big words, dude. Word. <laughs> Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is weird. Kind of don't want to touch the uh, I've already seen lights. what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Should I touch these? Too late now. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because that just appeals to the side of me that when I see buttons that I'm not supposed to touch, I really want to touch them, and she just went ham. Just all oh, the buttons. Oh, that was just. I just lived out all my dreams of pushing all the buttons that I've never been able to push. Oh, thank you, Chloe. That was very satisfying. Hello. Rachel? Victoria. Ugh. Boo! Messed up her makeup. She's gonna do a line, isn't she? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's gonna drug someone. Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. Dump them out. That's what I'm doing. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. Yep. I'm fixing that. Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. Muscle relaxers? Yep. Coming, Rachel. Dump them out. Hurry now before your tea gets... <sighs> yeah! What are you doing here? This Saying you're trying to knock out my girlfriend? Only. Here for Rachel. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, Rachel Amber. It was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night. As a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. 
It is in that spirit.